Okay, so I've got this monkey that I can hang on here with this electromagnet. And then I have this connected over here to a switch right here. And you can see when I push this switch, the monkey falls. So as soon as I release this, it pushes that switch and makes the monkey fall immediately. So I can launch this ball with this spring-loaded gun right here. So I put it in here and I can aim at the monkey up there and shoot the ball. So as soon as I shoot this, it pushes the switch and makes the monkey fall. I also have this laser sight that I can put on here right where the bullet goes. So it aims right here. So you can see I can aim at the monkey from here. Then when we're ready, we can just take out the laser and then we put in our ball. And then I remove this stopper and shoot it. So the question is this, where should I aim? Remember, as soon as I shoot the ball, the monkey will fall. So where should I be aiming if I'm gonna hit the monkey as it's falling? Should I aim higher than the monkey, lower than the monkey, or should I just aim right at the monkey and hope for the best? Now's the time to be brave. Before watching the rest of the video, make a comment right now where I should aim. Then after you've commented, you can move on. Now don't cheat, because I really want to see how many people can get it right. Now before I shoot this poor little monkey, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. These last few years have been difficult on everyone, and one of the most important things you can do in times like this is to focus on your mental health. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist anytime and schedule a live session when it's convenient for you. And if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge as well. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who's custom-picked for you. More scheduling flexibility at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash actionlab, or you can click the link in my description. And thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. So the first one, we're gonna aim a little above it, so we're just barely above it on the electromagnet here. Okay, load the ball in. Three, two, one. Missed. We missed it. Let's look at the slow motion footage to see what went wrong. You can see that we aimed too high. Okay, so now we're aiming a little bit too high. Let's move it a little bit lower now. On the monkey there. We're gonna go about right there. Let's go right here below the monkey. Pull it back and shoot. Oh, missed it. We missed again. You can see again in the slow motion footage that we were now too low. So that only leaves us with one option left. Okay, let's hang it back up. I guess we only have one more option now. Let's aim right at the monkey. So you can see the laser right in front of the monkey now. Aim right at it. Okay, last try. Let's take the laser out. And shoot. Whoa, we nailed it. <laughs> Now we shoot it and we hit it finally. So all we had to do was aim right at the monkey. We didn't have to change our aim at all. Let's do it again to make sure it wasn't a fluke. So on this one, I'm gonna barely pull it back so the bullet's actually falling a ton before it hits the monkey. Let's see if it still hits it. Put our monkey up there. Still aimed at it. And three, two, one. it still hits it. Why does this happen? It would seem like the monkey is falling, so we'd have to adjust our aim and not just aim where the monkey used to be. To figure out why this happened, let's look at it in a little more detail. If we did this experiment in zero G without any gravity, then this is what would happen. The ball would move in a straight line and hit the monkey. 
But when we do it with gravity, then the ball doesn't follow a straight line path anymore. It gets pulled down by gravity and follows a parabolic path. And the monkey doesn't stay where it was anymore, it falls down to the ground in a straight line. But how do they happen to hit each other then? Well, that's because gravity is pulling on the ball and the monkey at the same rate. So even though the ball is moving sideways, aimed at an angle, it still falls down at the same rate as the monkey. Said in a different way, if we draw a straight line from the gun to the monkey, the ball and the monkey deviate from this green line here at the same rate. So the bullet from this gun is actually falling. The same thing actually happens for any bullet fired from any gun at any speed. They all fall to the ground. But since usually your target isn't falling right when you shoot a bullet, that means that you need to adjust for the bullet falling. So when you shoot a target that's really far away with a gun, you actually have to set the sight on the gun. That essentially means that you're adjusting for how far the bullet is falling so that you don't have to aim above it when you shoot it. You can still just aim at the target. This physics question used to be about a hunter shooting a monkey in a tree. But over time it became a little more animal friendly and it turned into a zookeeper tranquilizing a monkey. And now I've even seen it as someone throwing a banana at a monkey in a tree. So don't worry, no monkeys were harmed in the making of this video. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and we'll see you next time.